Hey guys, it's Gossip and Reactions, Marie's Take. I am going to read something for you because sometimes I have to do some research before I bring some information to you guys. What is tempered? Someone who's tempered, who has a tempered, a hot tempered, what it means. Adjective, if you describe someone as hot tempered, you think they get angry very quickly and easily. And why I had to go google what hot tempered mean in a person okay we have heard now gz filed for divorce from Janie mai and those couples those two people were very out there in our faces showing us that they are married they are happy they have a beautiful daughter you know riding bicycle gz for some reason felt like that was the it woman for him now mind you he all he had already have two or three other kids by other women that black women i believe that he was never married to and he met this asian young lady was on tv she had something for black men and hey they fall in love supposedly and they get married, have the baby, and everything else happen. But I heard a clip that where she said she grew up seeing her grandma with a hot temper, her mother with a hot temper. She didn't think she had it in her. Because when she was married to Freddie, Freddie never let her know how disrespectful she was to him. Freddie let her go with whatever she said. Basically, do whatever hell she wanted. She even, while she was married with Freddie, in live TV saying she married to a white guy, but she liked her brown meat as a side plate, a side whatever. Now, what people don't understand, a black man will pull up with a certain things for a certain amount of time. Because remember, we can Black people... A black man or woman come from a back a, a, a background where mommy or daddy if daddy in the house don't pull up with no you know what so probably when GZ met this beauty he thought oh okay she's has asian in her this is the it price for me i am going to pull up with the crap until further notice and this is exactly what happened she seems like she was still in love with the guy. She still loves the guy because six days ago to 11 days ago, the woman posts a TikTok video where she was praying with her daughter for her husband's well-being. Where the book that he wrote that was on the top 10 New York bestseller was right there in the sofa where her and her daughter was praying for daddy. Now, I don't think Jeezy was right for dumping the woman the way he did. You put her out there. You knew who she was. She was already in a spotlight before she married you. What happened to counseling, you know? If you love somebody so much, why are you guys running to divorce? What happened to, let's take a step back. Let's see where things went, went wrong. They even had a, some kind of youtube channels where they show they went the whole family went on vacation and jenny jenny my country in asia they were having fun all the time and showing off whatever as always now jeezy as a black man had already had two to three kids before never married to those women i think he was engaged with one of them never really take it to the next step to say i do but the minute he find this young lady not knowing she looks pretty on top but in the bottom you don't know in my country they call it the dog poop it's dry on top when you step on it the whole crap in the bottom so when you see those type of women where black men have this fetish on being with them it's gonna work for a minute but the minute they get what they wanted the little dark meat fetish they had they're gonna show you their true self this woman had an anger problem and she grew up seeing grandma mom with an anger problem now because 
Freddie, the white guy, never let her have it. Let her know, hey, woman, be respectful. Respect me or else. She thought, oh, maybe my black king would allow me to do whatever I want because I'm pretty. I can do whatever I want. I have money. I have fame. No, a black man will deal with the crap until further notice. And when I watch other YouTubers' videos showing this woman was having a slide in their backyard, having fun. Jeezy, Jeezy Friends, Jenny Mae, the baby, and the slide. Everybody was happy. Now, how 11 days ago, everybody was having fun to filing for divorce. What happened, you know? What happened to go to counseling? What happened to try to make it work? Now, my concern is for the young lady. Now, because she talked a lot of sh uh, S word about her white husband. Now, nobody in the white community going to trust her because she already said how she feels with being with a white guy to be stabilized, keeping her lean. And okay, but the real deal is for a white man, uh, for a black man. She got the black man, she got the baby. Now, nah, no other Asian guy gonna wanna go with her after that. You mess the whole thing in their mind because you now have a black daughter, you know? So, a hot tempered woman with fame and money, how do you deal with that? How do you come a hot tempered beauty? And I watched a video where Jeezy had an interview with Lewis Hose, H-O-W-S. I have an accent. When I say Hose, I don't want people to think I'm saying the wrong thing. So I have to spell it each time I said it. And when Lewis asked him, what do you need to accomplish? And he, I don't remember the exact phrase. The man said, I need peace. So for a grown black man that been through so much being on the street um been living with grandma did not have an easy life but somehow he made it out of poverty he's doing well for himself he was a rapper he's still a rapper now bestseller bestseller new york's uh uh um, book and um we are state he's doing his thing he's doing well for himself as a black man born and raised here in america now, after all this man been through, you think he's going to let a hot-tempered woman not let him, him have some kind of peace of mind? No. He needs peace. The man said it over and over. He needs peace. And another thing that kind of caught my attention, he said he doesn't trust anybody. Lewis repeated and said, you mean your wife? I guess to, for social media correction, he said, yeah, I trust my wife. But I mean, I believe he went to jail and he had left some people in charge for when, if anything happened to him, he thought his kids would be okay. But then when he came out, they did not do what he expected them to do. He said, well, if I had passed away, same thing would have happened. So now he doesn't trust anyone. And I would put it right now, including his wife, because he did not have a stern, a firm, yes, trust in his wife. He doesn't trust anyone. And what he was looking for is peace of mind. Guys, there was a lot of kids outside making a lot of noise. So please forgive me on the noise. So again, a man, period. I don't care if it's white, black. It gets to a point in life, you would have fun when you were younger. You would be at the club. You would do all kind of stuff. You would take a lot of risk in life. But when you hit your late 30s to 40, it's time you start thinking about yourself. What else do I need to do? to be me to do me to have this peace of mind jeezy did not have peace of mind with jenny mine because she has a hot temper that's what causing them to break up now i want somebody who's close to jenny mine to please go check on this woman because she still loves jeezy i can see it in her but the problem is she has a hot temper Probably if they were to go to counseling, probably she were to go visit somebody, some professional, that could have been fixed. But when you see it from grandma, from mama, and now pass on to you, 
the hot temper is weird and this is the reason why they no longer together and close friend to them are saying her hot tempered cause Jeezy to file for divorce Jeezy is in the age right now i believe he's 45 jen is 44 he needs peace of mind now why brothers easily to say yes to a stranger to some outsider not to us the sisters god knows they don't take us for you know they don't give us value they don't they don't cherish us you know i remember watching um what's his name chris rock the comedian back then he had some good you know cd art and he would say you would see a black man with a white woman on the street she could be fat not attractive not kept not together and that black men will hold her hands for dear life and you could see a black woman with a black brother they'll be walking like two blocks away as if they not even know each other they're not even together so the fact is they don't care for us they don't respect us they don't value us they will easily say yes to somebody else not us and at the end of the game uh, at the end of the day we are for them we want the best for them i want the best for my sons i have three sons and a daughter i want nothing but the best for them for some reason our black men don't cherish us the queens they don't put much effort into us they give it to the asian to the white to the hispanic they cherish them they will do anything everything for them it's on social media it's not even hidden anymore it's out there where they baby them when they they lavish them with some nice cars houses everything and they still cheat on them they still disrespect them us the sisters that come home tired and cook a hot meal for them not all of us but some of us do the caribbean i can't speak for everybody we take care of our brothers in the bedroom at home it doesn't matter where we try the best we can to keep up with the joneses taking care of our brothers they don't see us as wife they don't see us as future partners they just see us as just um a fling a little something baby mama you know now jenny might gonna have to experience what is it like being a baby mama just like the rest of us okay again subscribe let me know how you feel a hot tempered woman a hot tempered woman easily get angry destroy jimmy my dream love story with jeezy jeezy not gonna pull up with it anymore this is what happened and hopefully a lot of other black men will realize just because she's beautiful and outside doesn't mean it's not a lot hidden unwelcome treasure inside just like this young lady took the life of this african young man in in, in um miami beach she took his life and he could have get out of it but she he keep on trying to make it work make it work make it work until she took his life and they find her in hawaii had on vacation and when they were interviewing her after she took the young man's life the officers were thirsty for fame wanted she said can i don't know if i can do that can i hug you guys oh my god and when they Give her the news, the young man passed. Oh, no, no, not so-and-so. Woman, you took his life. And when you guys plan to take our black king from us, at least give them a hot plate of food. At least take care of them. Respect them. Because you guys' beauty, take them away from us. And you guys treat them like crap and want to take everything from them. Subscribe, let me know how you feel. Hot tempered woman, watch out. Ah, king, no. They will take it, but not forever. They're going to walk away. They're going to surprise you. And this is exactly what happened. Subscribe. Bye.